Hi, oh, you're very welcome. And in this video, what I want to show you is how you can kind of create a roster. All right. And if you need to enter the same people's names in multiple times. So up here, I've got Joan, Jill and Jasmine. And I'm just going to put in my date here. First of the 12th, 2024. And click here. And I'm just going to drag it all the way across. So I come up to the end of the month. I can see there as I go across, the date appears. And 31st, the 12th. All right. And then I'm going to do then, I'm also going to freeze pane. So just click here. And I'm just going to come up here to view. And then I'm just going to go to freeze panes. Because what I want to be able to do is that as I enter the dates in here, in this section, you know, I want to be able to sure that I kind of know which time segment here that I'm assigned against. So I want to keep that visible all the time. So I'm going to click here. And then I'm just going to come up here to view. And then to freeze panes. And I choose freeze panes. Don't go for the top row or top column. You want freeze panes because it'll freeze it at that particular point. And if I go across down here, down at the bottom, you can see then as I go across, I can see it. All right. So I'm going to go in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of randomly select here. And then I'm going to press the control key, keep it pressed, push it over here, scroll across another bit. Let's say she's going to be here on this one, and then she's going to be also here on this one as well. Let's say that's the end of the year. Now, when I've chosen or highlighted all the, the entries I want to go in, I release the control key. I'm going to type in, uh, let's say, Jasmine. And then what I do then is I press the control key again, okay, and then I press enter. So press the control key first, then press enter, and you see there it does all of them for you in one go. And if I want to come in here and let's say I'm going to do, let's say, Jill this time. So I click here. And now once I go to the second row, note that I'm pressing the control key, keeping it pressed down. Go all the way across to here. I'm going to put it right to the end. This one. I then release the control key. Okay. And I type in Joan. And what you need to do then is you press the control key, keep it pressed down, and then press enter. OK, and then say Joan auto populates all the way across. All right. And you can try if you want to do it, let's say, for the other person there, which is Jill. OK, hope you find that useful. Mind yourself and take care. Bye.